Merci de nous rejoindre sur Africa 24 dans cette nouvelle édition de Décryptage qui reçoit Magdela Cooper, fondatrice de la Magdela Cooper Foundation et candidate à l'élection présidentielle 2023 au Libéria. Elle aborde avec nous les leçons tirées de sa participation à la dernière élection présidentielle au Libéria, sa motivation pour le prochain scrutin et sa vision du leadership féminin en Afrique. Magdela Cooper, soyez la bienvenue sur Africa 24. Vous êtes une femme politique engagée au Libéria et vous avez été candidate à l'élection présidentielle de 2017 qui a donné pour vainqueur Georges Bouya. Qu'avez-vous retenu de votre participation à cette élection 2017 And I was serving through a humanitarian uh, platform, providing education, providing health care, housing and nutrition for young people across the country through the Magdala Cooper Foundation, an initiative I started in early 2000. And with this platform, we build schools for young people to have access to education. And I wanted to take that same services I was providing for young people across the country. Liberia have a small population of 4 million people. And I was very much interested in seeing Liberia move from the level of poverty we were living in into some place of success. And so my solution was to provide basic social services for Liberians. And so for me, it was just a lesson learned because I understood the will of the people is the most powerful thing in elections. Vous êtes encore candidate à la prochaine élection présidentielle en 2023. Que comptez-vous apporter de plus pour la prochaine élection présidentielle? As I was a candidate in 2017, today I'm a candidate again for 2023 um, because I have understood the will of the people is a driving force behind any election. And today the people of Liberia are crying in extreme poverty. The same place where they were in 2017 when I came to the, the election, the people are back in the same place because they went for something else that they thought would be the solution to their problems. And today the people feel that that group they selected or the individuals that they selected has not been able to offer them solutions to their problem. And so the people of Liberia are once again back in a place where they find themselves without jobs, 85% unemployment rate, the literacy rate are, is very high. And the Liberian people are crying out and say, we need someone to come and rescue us. Who's out there that will come and bring a solution to our country's problem? Who's out there that will hear the cries of the women for equality? Who's out there that will hear the cries of our young people trying to be just obtain an education, have access to housing and health care, the basic human needs? Who's out there that will come and bring a solution to our nation's problem, create an economy to put our people to work? And so I put my hands up once again and said, Liberian people, here I am. I've, for the past 20 years, brought solutions to your problem. I come back again asking you to vote for me this time, to bring solutions to our nation's problem. We are able to educate our young people. We are able to create an economy and put our, our fathers, our brothers, and our mothers back to work. We're able to create a healthcare system that will work for all people, affordable healthcare system. We are able to build you know, our country into the future that we want for our young people. And so I'm back on the campaign trail. I'm suggesting myself to the Liberian people. And I do hope that they will consider me to be the one because I do have a plan for Liberia, unlike what they've seen before. There are solutions for Liberia and I want to be the person and I know I am that person to bring the solutions to Liberia. Le Liberia est l'un des pays africains à avoir été dirigé par une femme, Hélène Johnson Sirleaf. C'est également le cas du Malawi avec Joyce Hilda Banda et de la République centrafricaine avec Catherine Samba Panza. Qu'est-ce qui vous motive encore à vous représenter en tant que seule femme dont la candidature est annoncée pour l'élection présidentielle 2023? Um, well, I, yes, I am the only female candidate in the race. I think so far I've been declared the only female candidate, or at least aspiring until we get the accreditation from the Election Commission, we remain aspirants. But for me, Liberia has made great strides in electing women. Liberia was the country, the first country on the continent of Africa that elected the first democratically elected female head of state, Madame Ellen Johnson Sirleaf. She came in after the war, it was chaos, it was destructions everywhere, no economy. Madame Sirleaf did a great job bringing Liberia from extreme poverty into being a respected country on the continent once again. And yes, I'm not trying to replicate what Madame Sirleaf did, but there's a few lessons we've learned from her. She came in and she did what she had to do to move her country forward. Got $4.6 billion debt pardon 
by the international community. That was a great accomplishment for, accomplishment for our country. Today, I am the only female candidate in this uh, 2023 election, and I have no fear. I'm a strong woman. I've always been an independent woman. I don't have a pedigree from a long political lineage, but I do know what McDowell Cooper is capable of doing. I've done it. I have a massive, a long history of taking young people off the streets and giving them access to education and all the basic necessity they need to get themselves into um, a university and into the job market. I've done many things across Liberia. The first woman in the country to build a political party, to stand against the enemies of uh, progress. And I look forward to doing that in the next election. I don't see myself just as a woman. I see myself as a citizen of Liberia that cares about the people of Liberia uh, because I have built a very comfortable life for myself outside of Liberia. But I am not content to see that I am okay and the rest of the people of my country are suffering at a point where they are perishing. Lack of access to health care, to education, to basic jobs. So for me, being the only woman doesn't, fear, it doesn't scare me. Vous êtes la fondatrice de la Magdela Cooper Foundation, une organisation dédiée à l'amélioration de la vie des enfants et des femmes au Liberia. Quel bilan faites-vous de votre fondation depuis sa création en 2003? Since 2003, the Magdela Cooper Foundation, from its uh, first years, we started to support orphanages around Liberia post the war. When the war was over, refugees were returning home from the different bordering countries. We saw a lot of families coming back, but they didn't have a home to go to. They had nothing to start with. And so the McDowell Cooper Foundation started to support families across Liberia. But mostly, we started to support orphanages across Monrovia. We went to the Ministry of Health. We got a list of all of the orphanages around Monrovia. The Susie Gunter, the uh, uh, Love, Love a Child Orphanage. There were ser several different orphanages across Liberia. We came and we gave them support because we want to see the children grow up, not just to feed them every day, but grow up healthy. So we came in with these orphanages, we partnered with them by giving them access to food, we gave them some scholarship, and we give them some resources in terms of mattresses. We've painted the orphanages so it become a conducive place for children to live and survive and grow up healthy. But we realized, we realized what we're doing was just a band-aid solution to a larger problem in our society. Because you can feed the kids, you can give them all the, the comfortable beds to sleep in, but if their minds remain empty, there will be a problem tomorrow. And so the McDowell Cooper Foundation started to focus on education, education, education. En tant que femme leader engagée, quelle appréciation faites-vous du leadership féminin en Afrique? For me, it's very important to have more women at the decision-making table. Because when women are involved at the decision-making tables at all levels, I think our continent will be a much better place. Today, I think it was said by one um, wise woman or wise man, says Africa is running a massive race on one leg. Imagine what Africa could be if Africa ran this race on two legs. And what this person was saying is that Africa constantly elect males into leadership and omitting women's participation and representation. And so if Africa could balance it by creating an equal playing field, making room to elect both females and males, we will have a much better shot at making better decisions for our, our nations. For me, the feminine leadership is very important to move Africa forward. It is extremely vital to moving Africa in the direction we want Africa to move into. I'm not excluding men. There have been some great male leaders across the continent, but we need to diversify our leadership today to be inclusive of all people of the continent of Africa. Madame Magdela Cooper, fondatrice de la Magdela Cooper Foundation et candidate à l'élection présidentielle au Liberia. Merci d'avoir répondu aux questions d'Africa 24. Merci à vous d'avoir suivi cette édition de Décryptage. À bientôt pour un nouveau numéro de Décryptage sur Africa 24.